All right, hi everybody. John Meadows here with my friends Caroline and David. Dimasquita runs like a cheetah. You know, that's never going to get old. <laughs> so today we're doing our back. Now, we did a video on how to bring your legs up, how to build them back up after quarantine. And we did it on chest and shoulders, but we haven't done back. So we have special guests today to help with that video. Back is a complex group of muscles. So you can't do two or three exercises. Well, you can probably do three, but it takes a little more thought um, to train your back fully. So what you're going to see today is we're going to hit back from every angle. Um, and that's going to be key. You're going to, need to, you're going to need to have a few more exercises in your arsenal to start bringing your back back. All right, so for those of you who are still in quarantine, praying for you, I hope it ends soon. <laughs> so this is a variation of a pull down, obviously. The key for this is we've got a neutral grip, palms facing each other, and we're driving our elbows down and into the pad. You can actually push your elbow into the pad and get a really nice isometric contraction. Typically, you're going to see a pull down done with a pronated grip, which is fine for your upper lats. But this neutral grip is going to give you a little bit more action down your entire lat. So down all the way down. Now, I like to do it with these spongy grips. You guys know I love the spongy grips for everything. Um, so we're on a single pull here with two spongy grips. But basically what you wanna do is you wanna do a neutral grip pull down. So you can really drive with your lats as opposed to pulling this way. You wanna really drive this way. So that's the, that's the motion that we wanna simulate in this first exercise. The other thing to notice here is look at Caroline's spine. It's really good. There's a slight arch but she's not overarched. If you start getting this crazy, crazy arch, all the stress will go into your upper lap, but we want to work our entire lap. So she's got really nice form there. Just a slight arch is all you need on these. Remember, elbows in and down. All right, now one thing to think about on these is, so we're not anchored in. That means you don't really want to go real heavy. We're working on the contraction anyway. Primarily what we're doing on this is this bottom flex. We're trying to wake those lats back up. You've been on quarantine, it's time to wake them back up. So we want to get a really focused lat contraction. And I really like the angle that just comes down out on your lat too. I feel like you can really Focus on your lats with this angle. So sets and reps, three sets, 10-ish reps. Um, you can take these close to failure. It's not something that's gonna wreck your body and pull down. So don't be afraid to take these to failure. When I say failure, I just mean all the reps you can get with, with good form. If your form starts breaking down on this exercise, stop. These should all be done uh, real, real strict. So let's start off with three sets of 10. Okay, so the first exercise got your lats kind of warmed up, got some blood in there, it wasn't real hard. Good contractions though. Now we're going to a heavier row. So we're gonna do a couple sets with a neutral grip for our lats. That's pulling this way. Um, this is a pretty cool machine. You may not have this, but it actually adjusts in and out. But since we're focusing on lats, we just wanna keep our elbows in tighter. Now there's another reason why you should do them like this, but first we're gonna do them with a this, this, this motion right here. That's what I want you to simulate. I want you to simulate this motion right here on a row. I like the chest supported pad because it allows you to really focus on your lats and your back without worrying about your lower back stability. Um, you could just as easily do a dumbbell row on this if you wanted. But again, I like the stability of the pad so we can really focus with our back. So don't worry about if you have more weight on one side than the other, the weight distributes equally. See how her elbows are in? That's, that's helping her lats work more, lats work harder. We're just gonna do sets of eight and we're gonna build our way up. Don't let her arms rip out. That's essentially what you wanna do is just kinda of build your sets. You're just coming back from being laid off, uh, quarantine, whatever. So just work your way back up on these exercises. Don't try to get to your top weight too quick. All right, just get the motion, get everything firing. Five, 
So again, the key is we're just working different angles. So the first angle was here. Now we're working here. Now remember, you haven't trained in a while, so you don't need to do a ton of sets. We're gonna do four sets like this, but honestly, you could do two, maybe three. Remember, you're coming back, so no need to do a bazillion sets. Just do two sets if you're coming back, all right? Now we're gonna move this out. So the goal now is to do more rear delts, rhomboids, traps, kind of kind of upper lats. We're gonna go all the way across. We're gonna go all the way across here now. And you're gonna use this grip. Now, when she's done with this, she's gonna go over and we're gonna do a dumbbell pullover. That's gonna get a lot of these muscles, your Terry's muscles under here, upper lats. It's actually a really good combination. There's something about this where they work off each other that I really, I really like. I think if you try it, you'll enjoy it. So we're gonna start off with 10 reps here. Now elbows up. There you go, right there. There you go. There you go. Good. 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 Come on. Good. Good. Okay, now, we're doing this on a decline down. Now we do the pullover. Okay, and you're only coming around here. If that doesn't feel good, let me know. Just come up to my hand, that's it. She only needs to come up to my hand. We're putting all the stress right down here. See her Terry's muscles working right here? All that? A little bit of upper lat, a lot of Terry's muscles. Those little detail muscles, your Terry's minor and Terry's major are really cool. I mean, they're really lean. You can see the lines going around the side. Good combination there. We'll go 10 and 10. One thing to keep in mind is this, this grip is harder. Um, so we're not going quite as heavy now. The other thing I want you to notice is, notice how the elbows are coming up and out. You're, you don't want your elbows to tuck in like we're just doing. That's actually going to create a lot of tendonitis if you do that. So pull like this. Not like that. See how his elbows are up and out? 10 reps. Tons and tons of trap, rear delts, rhomboids, upper, lap, upper back, all that whole, that whole area. And now we're moving into the pullover. I do like the decline angle too. Slight bend in your elbow, lock, lock your arms. Now just pull to the forehead. Right there, nice and controlled. Now don't bend your elbows more unless you want to work your triceps. Be careful at the bottom, you're bending your arm a little bit more. Lock, lock, lock. Now back up. There you go. Elbows up. There we go, right there. See all this working, guys? Ladies, gents, right here. All this. Watch how this is working right here. See this? See that strip of muscle right there? The only thing about doing one decline is all the blood goes to your head. <laughs> and plus, you can choke yourself out with your chest. <laughs> so, as long as you don't pass out, you'll be okay. So in this, two rounds, once you've got the feel of it, is good. Um, we're gonna do three or four today, but remember you're coming back, just like I said the last time. Um, now, if you don't have a Again, a row like we have. Just simulate it with a barbell row if you want, this way. Wide grip barbell row would do the same thing. Now you're engaging your spinal erectors, but the point is still a pronated grip with a wide hand placement so you can really hit your rock traps, rhomboids, rear delts, kind of all across your upper back. So this is very easy to simulate if you don't have this piece of equipment. Okay, now this one is a pretty unique type of row. It's an inverted row. I really, really like these. Like this isn't a gimmick for you guys because I'm doing a TRX show. I really, really like these. So uh, David, if you'd come here for a second. These, you know, so what we've done today, we felt a lot here, a lot here. These are really nice to kind of feel the bottom down here, the bottom part of your lat. And then even then in towards your spinal erectors, kind of the lower inner. I know that sounds weird to say you can target something like that, but I want you to just try this. 
Now, go ahead and do a couple reps. I wanna, I wanna point out the form here. So first of all, you wanna almost picture yourself in a decline. So see how he's got his body almost like he said in a decline position? That's gonna help target this area, okay? Now look where his, look where his hands are. Now go ahead and do the row. See how he's, his hands aren't up here. So his hands are a little lower. Boom, right there. But again, you know, one of the real subtle keys to this is you gotta set your body almost like in a decline position. That just allows you to lock this in really good down there. You, you can feel it's contracting super hard right now. Now what I want you to do, Dave, is I want you to let your feet go forward. This is how not to do them. Okay, go, for, go even further forward. Now pull up more towards your chest. Now we've turned it into kind of a bicep exercise. So that's not what I want to see. Okay, that's good. So don't do them that way. Do it the initial way. I think the key for me is this kind of thinking I'm in a decline, and, but instead of pushing, I'm pulling. Is if you want to make it easier, if that's really hard, then just stand up further, right? So you don't have to be all the way down. You could stand right here and do them if you wanted. So if, you could actually make a crazy drop set. You could start down there, and as you get tired, stand up a little and so forth. So I want you to do two sets of failure on this. We're going to do, we're going to be sneaky and we're going to do three or four but two sets on this is plenty. So think about what we've done today. We've pulled this way, we've pulled this way, we've rowed this way, we've rowed that way, and now we're rowing this way. So we've covered a lot of ground. You don't need a ton of volume, but this wide variety of exercises will make sure you've got your entire back firing up again so we can build it back. And then as you get back into this, we can build our volume up a little bit, build our intensity up a little bit. So. You're still going up a little bit high. Okay. How's that? Is that better? Yeah. Did you? Definitely more difficult. All right. You should always incorporate a little bit of spinal erector work, your lower back muscles, just for health, general strength. Those are muscles that you always want to keep strong, your lower back. So we have a reverse hyper machine here and we're gonna do basically two sets to failure. When you're doing this, when you're lowering the weight, just don't let it swing. It can get dangerous, just control the weight. And then when you come up, don't overly arch your back. Just come up until your legs are kind of flat with your spine. So we'll show you here on the side. So that's good right there. You can see here he's coming in a straight line. You don't need your legs to come up here. And look at the good control as he's coming down. Some people just kind of relax and swing it. That's not what you want to do. So these are really, really good. Probably my favorite exercise in the world for building spinal erectors, building lower back strength. Um, certainly powerlifters have made this exercise famous, but this is great for bodybuilders. It's great for people in fitness. It's great for everybody who just, who just trains. So I want you to finish with two sets. Now, a lot of people don't have that machine. So they will just find something to grab a hold of and do it without weight. So they might just find something and, you know, just jump up and just, and just do it without weight. Um, but that's the motion you want. Really rehabilitative, great exercise. So that's, that's what we're gonna do to finish. So that's it. That's, a, that's your back workout. We hit every angle. Because remember, we're bringing your back backs and in the back, remember, it's a complex group of muscles. So it requires a little bit more of a thoughtful process than just doing a set of rows and a set of deadlifts. So you get it to be a little more thoughtful. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. And for Caroline and David, we'll see you next time.